Welcome back to Take Apart. In this video, I will be completely tearing down this amazing Sony RX100 Mark IV compact camera. Let's start with the five screws on the bottom of the camera. All the screws are with the Philips head. Make sure you subscribe and comment below what issue do you have with your RX100 camera. Once unscrewed, this cover should pop off. Moving on two screws on the left side, two on the right side and last two on the back behind display. Guys, I launched channel membership so if you wish to join and get shout out or just chat, click join button below. Now you can pop off this rear frame. It is weak, so take your time and gently pop it out. These doors flaps will drop, so don't lose them. One is for HDMI port, another one for multi port. Display has its own support plate, held on place with two screws. Gently detach and unplug ribbon cable from main board. Connector has this soft locking mechanism, so just lift and pull ribbon cable out. Here we go. Now you can see internals, it is jam packed inside. So let's start. Remove this black sticker from left bottom. And unplug these two cables, as we need to get out the copper shield in order to access main board. Now here are two screws holding the copper shield on place. Also this locking tab on the bottom and this HDMI cover. Now the copper piece should come off. It is used to transfer heat from main chip and sensor to the display frame. I know strange but more on that later. Let's rip off this sticker. And gently disconnect this flexi ribbon cable connecting eyepiece with a board. There is a board on top of it held on with one screw. Gently push it aside. Next I will unlock top one. And move the sensor up. On the right side is screw holding the main board on place. Along with this plastic clip. So unlock and gently lift the board. This frame will pop out. And you have to detach this flexi PCB from side. It is glued on. Now you have access to the rest of the ribbon cables. So unlock two bottom ones and disconnect them. Now move on to the top and under the board is connector. 
just pulling one, so no need to unlock anything. Just simply pull out ribbon cable. And lastly, gently flip the board and unlock last ribbon connector. This one has a little tape securing it. So remove tape and unplug sensor ribbon cable. So yeah, this is the board with the problem. I got another one. If you're looking for one, head into the description below and look for product links. Let's move on onto the lens. There are three screws around, holding it on a place. And the lens should pop out. It could be stuck on a ribbon cable, so be gentle and wiggle it out slowly. This is the lens fit sensor on the back of it, held on by three screws. Now we have this shell with a viewfinder and a battery compartment, also with dials and buttons on top. So let's remove a viewfinder. Unscrew the screws holding it in the case. And the viewfinder should come out. There is also a speaker, so be gentle. Slowly pull it out from its place. Now we're gonna move on to this board with the SD card slot. There are two screws on the corners. And also this thermal sticker which needs to come off. You can gently remove a board with SD card slot. There is SD card slot and two chips on this side. Now we're gonna go for battery compartment. Just open the battery door and it should come off. Now we end up with one PCB on top of the camera. Disconnect the ribbon cable and unscrew two Phillips screws. Now there is only one ribbon cable connecting it, so gently pull it out of its socket. And lastly, we have a flash unit. Before putting everything back together, I like to clean terminals on ribbon cables. Now we can gently plug in top PCB, make sure the dial button is aligned with a dial and push it on the place. Screw in two screws. And double check if the dials are turning and also the buttons are working. Now you can plug in the remaining ribbon cable and install battery compartment. Pretty straightforward. Now it's time for SD card PCB. Same thing, just put it on a place, stick that sticker and screw the two Phillips head screws. Next in the queue is viewfinder. 
put it on its place and screw in screws. Make sure everything is working. This gasket is for lens, so put it in before. And slide in lens unit. Same thing, push it in, make sure the cables are not cold and screw in three screws. Let go and connect all these ribbon cables to the new board. First will be this largest ribbon cable from camera sensor. But before, let's stick thermal pad on the bottom of the board. It goes only one way. This will help to disappear heat from board. Now make sure the connector is unlocked and carefully connect sensor ribbon cable and the lock the connector now you have to connect the bottom connector just simply push it in position main board roughly on its place and go ahead with connecting two ribbon connectors on the bottom and lock the connectors do the same to the top connector center the board and plug this ribbon cable. This is the second last. Get USB and HDMI alloy frame and slide it on. Tuckle it down until it fits nicely. Add HDMI steel cover on top of it. Get old or new thermopad and stick it on the chair. I cut my one from 1.5 mm thick thermopad. Get copper frame and somehow hide all the ribbon cables behind. And screw this one in. You can see the thermopad is nicely touching copper. I hide two ribbon cables behind this copper frame. Stick covering sticker. Now it's time for second screw on top right side. Nicely put inside cables from speaker and test viewfinder mechanism. Unlock display connector and connect display to the board. I can fit extra layer of thermal plate here between display frame and a copper. This step is not necessary but I like to do extraordinary things. Simply click on display frame and make sure all is on its place. and screw in two screws. 
I have to cut off this overhanging pad and plug in back buttons and dial. It is simple plug connector. Fit back frame onto camera. Again make sure nothing is in the way and press wiggle until it sits on its place. Test viewfinder and flash buttons and start screwing screws around. Lots of you guys are not subscribed, so please do so if this video helped you at least a bit. I'm trying my best to repair all sorts of things, so like and comment as well. Now when all intact, it is time for test. Display working and buttons as well. And boom, just like that, camera is back. Sony RX100 Mark IV. See you next time.